So there's about a million different sunscreen options out there. Today I want to talk about the key differences between chemical sunscreens and mineral or physical sunscreens. And we'll talk about the similarities and the differences. So I'll start with showing a couple sunscreens. So this is a chemical and mineral sunscreen mix. This is a mineral based sunscreen. Um, and this is a pure chemical based sunscreen. So some of the things that are the same between them is the cost is generally about the same for all of them. Um, they all have SPF ratings or sun protective factor ratings which show how much of the sun essentially they block or how long you can be in the sun and not get burned compared to your normal skin without, without any sun protection at all. So most dermatologists recommend an SPF 30 because that blocks about 98% of the sun rays. Now they do work, one of the differences is they do work a little bit differently. So one of them, those mineral sunscreens or physical sunscreens actually act as kind of a shield or uh, something to reflect the sun's rays away. So the sun rays never get absorbed, they simply get reflected. Now, chemical sunscreens, chemical sunscreens are um, more of a sponge, so they absorb sun's rays, preventing them from going into your cells and, and actually damaging your cells. So they absorb it like a sponge and release, um, release that damage away. So that's uh, two of the key differences. Now, they accomplish this by different things. So the uh, mineral-based sunscreens like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are the ingredients with a very broad range of photo protection or sun protection. So they block a lot of the UV rays that we see. And if you're using a tinted sunscreen, it even blocks um, visible light like we see in from our computer monitors, from overhead lighting in our offices and such like that. Another big difference is that mineral sunscreens are immediately effective. That means the moment you put it on, you can go in the sun and have photo protection. Where a chemical sunscreen, uh, you actually need to apply about 15 or 20 minutes before going outside and getting into the sun. Now some people have sensitive skin. So if you're one of those people, you may want to try a mineral sunscreen. There's less incidence of allergy to mineral sunscreens compared to chemical sunscreens. There have been some allergies that have been reported with chemical sunscreens. Now chemical sunscreens are made up of a few different uh, ingredients like avobenzone, oxybenzone, homosalate, and such. So usually chemical sunscreens ingredient list of active ingredients will be a bit longer than that of a mineral sunscreen which usually is just zinc or titanium. Now mineral sunscreens used to get a bad rap because they weren't very elegant. You'd put them on the on your skin and you'd have like white lines on your nose and on your on your cheekbones. It would never blend in really well. It was thick and, and gritty and nasty. And now they make them very elegant so they can rub in and be just as good as a chemical sunscreen leaving no white cast, which is huge. So if I had to make a recommendation, I would go with either a mix of a physical sunscreen with a chemical sunscreen that's tinted or a pure mineral sunscreen that's tinted. So you, you get those benefits of protecting from all the UV lights along with lights in our offices and things that we encounter every day. Remember, it's important to wear sunscreen even if you're indoors because UVA light, which causes aging, can penetrate window glass. And it's important to wear it all year long because the sun rays, of course, are out in the winter too. So even if you're not out on the beach, it's a great idea to wear sunscreen all year round. So I hope that's cleared up some of the differences between chemical and mineral sunscreens. I hope the video has helped you, and if it has, feel free to like and subscribe. If you got further questions, ask them in the comments below. Check out my other videos. Let's help you get your best skin. Thanks so much for watching.